so I'm just going to pop up my blade Watching, watching, eyes, eyes, oh, wait, 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 wait Welcome back, welcome back, YouTube family. Well, guys, we are yet back with another one. Uh, but right now, I'm bringing you guys this video from another state. Currently, we are in Florida. I don't know if you've seen the signs and stuff that uh, I was passing along the way. And forgive me if I'm kind of looking a little bit rough this morning, but uh, uh, I had to hurry up and get out because had to fix uh, one of the tires on the vehicle but as you can see we are at our local Walmart so I am um, going to uh, going ahead and go up in here to check to see uh, what they have because some Walmarts in different states have uh, different things or whatever so i'm going to check out to see what we have up in here as far as fruits and ingredients and all that other good stuff like that but uh this video is going to be about one of those nice wines that a lot of people don't even get a chance to try and it's really delicious guys it's, it's really good it's going to be a um like i said it's going to be a lemon wine and we're going to go ahead and make that wine for this video and some people know it as skeeter pea hey check it out lemon snow what yeah that stuff's delicious lemon snow you mean it just falls from the sky like that you bet one of nature's treats you gonna have some Nah, i'm already full but you should have some before the other kids get to it L what is it like italian ice yeah exactly like a sorbet <laughs> ah, that's not lemon <laughs> Or whatever but uh it's not pee uh please don't think it's pee but we're gonna go ahead and walk up into this walmart and i'm gonna do a little fuming up in here but all right guys we'll be right back all right guys so uh we are in the walmart and i'm just checking this produce out see what we have here like we got some nice ripe red strawberries for all our strawberries lovers out there we have some some blueberries some raspberries look like things is pretty decent price but 247 i don't know about that 247 fresh 
for six ounces of uh, blackberries. And Lord, the raspberry is six fifty four for twelve ounces. So I don't know. I said fruits are expensive uh, in some of your markets or whatever. But we have some red cherries down here. I was thinking about uh, making some cherry wine eventually. Uh, that's going to be coming to the channel. But you guys will know when, when I get ready for that. But I got some pretty color, pretty colors on, on these cherries. Of course, we have our white grape up in here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We know Florida is the orange state. So we have some navel oranges right here for a decent price. $3.92. A bag. Oh, we have some, some white peaches. Okay, yes. Ooh. Smell good. Smell fresh. And I'm pretty sure these are some nectarines over here. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yep. So, we have some peaches. We have some nectarines. We also have some more fruits over here. We have some apricots apricots you say tomato i say tomato nectarines white peaches yeah so we got a little variety of stuff over here granny smith apples and stuff but you can always pretty much count on walmart to have some of your fruits to do some of the the wines with on the channel that's why we go to our local market or whatever you got your halos, the tangerines, mandarins, whatever you want to say, or whatever. We have some citrus over here. We have our lemons, which, like I said, we'll be using to make our lemon wine. And we have some more navel oranges or whatever. But like I said, that's not a surprise. We are in the citrus state grapefruit kiwi you know we, we have a good little selection here we have the kiwis we have the gold kiwis i believe we used the gold kiwis when i made the uh kiwi wine countryside kiwi wine so guys if you haven't seen the video check that out also that guava used the guava to make the uh the guava mead that we had and over here we have some cantaloupe honeydew melon and some little mini watermelons and i also use all of these i have made a wine with all of these melon guys like i said i i've really been making wine for a minute and i didn't probably need a good bit amount of fruits especially coming from the local um the local market or whatever so yeah so check out your local walmart your local stores like i said i just wanted to kind of do a a little slash vlog video at the same time to show you some of the stuff that you run into like look at these papaya guys big papaya oh, i don't know why i'm rubbing it almost look like a miniature baby but pause we're gonna leave that alone uh, we have some nice mangoes here we got some nice fresh apples and stuff right there we got the pineapple sitting over here guys all packed up or whatever look like they just restocked all of this avocados yes you can use these to make wines too your granny smith apples your oranges and like i said the lemons that's sitting back there but like i tell you guys there's so many fruits 
vegetables, herbs, spices, and all that that you can use to make wine. But like I said, our focus on this video is that we're gonna make lemon wine. And it's gonna be something good for the summer, something that you can uh, bring out during the summer and be real refreshing. I'm looking at possibly uh, doing an ABV of maybe 10 to 13. Uh, pretty much maybe on the 10% side, something low. So that way it could be easy drinking. And we're going to have enough up in there to give you kind of like a, mm, I want to say a hard lemonade kind of profile or flavor, you know. But um, this one is like real simple. It's going to be real simple. And I know some people might not want to hear me talk. I know it's been a while since y'all seen my beautiful mug. I might be rough or whatever today, especially this morning. I got to shave. I ain't going to lie or whatever but um hey it is what it is but like i said today we are going to be focusing on these bad beauties right here our lemons or whatever for the lemonade wine and that's pretty much it uh as far as this part i might be going to some other little citrus markets or other markets uh while i'm out here in florida but like i said guys that's pretty much it uh if i have any else uh any other things or anything else to say i'm gonna let you guys know up in the video so let's get to what we're supposed to do on the channel as always i love y'all and let's get to this process okay guys like i was saying so we are gonna go over the ingredients before we go into the process so i'm gonna use uh, about two to three pounds of lemons uh, we're gonna also zest this and uh most of the time like i said when i'm throwing something in secondary um i put the video up to show y'all in the right hand corner um basically what you do when you want to add something to secondary or slash conditioning or whatever but we're going to take all the zest from these lemons um and put it up in secondary when we get to it uh and if you guys want to know how we are going to maintain that zest it's basically going to be dry when i zest everything i'm going to draw it up in the oven uh on the pan for uh uh, what let's see about 250 degrees about 10 15 minutes 15 most likely at the most should dry this out and you can take and save that you can also take that and use up in other uh brews or wines or meats or anything else for that matter but we're going to get the juice from here when we get the juice um i'm going to measure it and show you exactly how much juice is going into that uh well into this lemon wine uh we're also going to be using two pounds of sugar as i showed you guys before as you can see that's four cups of sugar like i said roughly and for the yeast we are going to be using Lauvin ec 1118 and the reason why i want to use that uh, i want this to go completely dry guys um so that way I can back sweeten and I'm still not sure if I'm going to use the white sugar to back sweeten or I'm going to use the raw cane sugar but either which way you decide is fine you can even back sweeten with honey but we done went over that time and time again so it is what it is we're also using uh our earl grey black tea to add a little tan into this and for this one since we're going to have so much acid up in this we're going to use a little bit of Fermade O, about a, let's say half a teaspoon, maybe one teaspoon. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to use about roughly that amount and one gallon of water right here up in the back. And as always, we have our usual suspects and maybe a couple of extra items as far as our juicer. Uh, the carboy and our bung our graduated cylinder and hydrometer pitcher 
and spoon in the pot guys but that's just about it guys this one is going to be uh simple another one that's simple so i'm not going to go too much into it i already kind of gave y'all the vlog so let's just go ahead and get to this process and get this one over with So, okay guys, uh, we allow our mixture to cool down, which uh, this is our simple syrup. Uh, as you see, it's kind of brown. That's from the tea uh, that we steep for 10 minutes. Uh, I have right here the jug. And like I told you guys, we have the lemon juice. Uh, we have two cups of lemon juice. We have our yeast right here up in the back. And we have our one teaspoon uh, Fermade O right here. Our water to uh, finish topping this off to a gallon, which should be about right up here, right where that funnel starts, or uh, stop, whatever you wanna say. And guys, I also decided to add some tartaric acid this to round this out some you don't have to put this up in there and you don't have to put this in there these are optional it's just to round our lemon wine out like i said everybody do their wine different but i just wanted to let y'all know what i was doing with that so we're going to go ahead and take our tartaric acid half an ounce and 
put up in here. Go ahead and get that up in there. And we're gonna go ahead and get our Fermaid O and put up in here. Okay. As you guys can see. And now we are going to get our lemon juice and pour up in there. And obviously you guys should know this is the acid that's going in there. And the tartaric acid that's also in there. Now for this next step, I'm gonna have to get off the camera guys to make sure I don't spill nothing. So I'll be right back to add the yeast and we'll finish up this video. All right, guys, I'm out here in Florida on the beach. Say a good way to end the day and end the video. But I'd like to thank all of y'all. As always, I appreciate it that you guys take the time and watch my videos and show your boys some love thank y'all for taking the time and actually get through the videos to learn a little something something about country wines but as always love you i'm out peace